Now, to show off how insanely great Memo is, we'll want to have before and after pictures showing the amazing weight loss of a model that was fat before and was thin after applying Memo. Oh, oh, wait a minute. It's not weight loss. It's time loss that we're going to try to measure. We want to show that before we have a function f, and that's going to run very slowly, making us sad. And after, we have a function memo of f, and that's going to run very quickly, making us happy. Now, we could do that with a timer and say it took 20 seconds to do this and 0.001 seconds after. But instead of doing it with timing, I think it's a little bit more dramatic just to show the number of function calls. And I could go into my function and modify it to count the number of function calls. But you can probably guess a better way to do that. I'm going to define a decorator to count the calls to a function, because I'm probably going to want to count the calls to more than one function as I'm trying to improve the speed of my programs. And so it's nice to have that decorator around. So here's the decorator count calls. You pass it a function, and this is the function that it returns. It's going to be a function that just increments the entry for this function in a dictionary call counts, increment that by one, and then go ahead and apply the function to the arguments and return that result. And we have to initialize the number of calls to each function to be zero, and that's all there is to it. So here I've defined the Fibonacci function, the recursive function. It calls itself twice for each call, except for the base case. I can count the calls both with and without the memoized version. And so I'm going to do before and after pictures, before and after memoizing. So here's before. I have the values of n, the value computed for Fibonacci number of n, the number of calls created by count calls, and then I've had the uh, ratio of the number of calls to the uh, previous number. And we see the number of calls goes up. By the time we get up to n equals 20, we got 10,000 calls. We can scroll down. And by the time we're up to n equals 30, we have 2.6 million calls. And here's the after. Now we've applied the memo decorator. Now the number of calls is much more modest. Now at 20, we're only at 39 calls. And at 30, we're at 59 calls rather than 2.6 million. So that's pretty amazing weight loss to go from 2.6 million down to 59 just by writing one little decorator and applying it to the function. Now, just as an aside here, and for you math fans in the audience, I'm back to the before part. This is without the memoization. This number here in this column is the ratio of the number of calls for n equals 30 to the number of calls for n equals 29. And you can see it's converging to this number 1.6180. Math fans out there, I want you to tell me if you recognize that number. Do you think it's converging to 1 plus square root of 5 over 2, 25.888 over 1,600, or the square root of e?